is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we did get ourselves some brand new wwe mattel action figure reveals to us on wwe.com guys if you missed our video from yesterday we did talk about some of the things that we were going to see you know we discussed it we talked about it i i kind of gave my predictions on what we would get if you missed that video i guess you really don't have to check it out but if you guys would like to and you want to compare my predictions to actually what we got then i guess you could do that but i appreciate everybody that checked out that video yesterday let's go ahead and dive in, man this is a really excellent day of reveals i can't wait to show you guys what we got and what this means for the future it is an excellent day guys if you did not know today we did get reveals on wwe.com of new wwe action figures that we're going to be getting so let's go ahead shut up and dive into what we're going to be getting so i think the first thing that we need to to assess and we need to just go ahead and dive straight into guys has to be elite series 87 because i think this is a really important deal pulling up first guys we have santos s Escobar, Elite Series 87 with the Cruiserweight NXT Championship here. This figure looks phenomenal. Now, we didn't get to see a ton of, like, different angles with the with the figures and how they pose and stuff like that. We really only got, like, a mock image, and then we got, you know, an impact, or not a mock image and an impact image. That's the same thing. We got a one, like, good, loose figure image, and then we got a mock image, and I'll show you guys both of them. This figure looks outstanding. The first thing you're going to notice, guys, is the double-jointed arms, man. This is so awesome awesome like there's I mean there's kind of like a double whammy here we'll get into that a little bit but double jointed arms I mean that's the end of it you don't have to really say anything else because they look so John Brown good you know how good these guys are going to pose around uh, I'm just so excited man I cannot wait to just pose these guys around and showcase them once we get them in hand and what's so excellent is that Elite 87 is the next wave we're getting but this figure looks phenomenal extra head sculpt the person that posed the loose photo actually put the NXT Cruiserweight title upside down I thought that was hilarious but Santos Escobar looks really good the double jointed arms look great the only little nitpick that i wanted to mention to you guys just so you have it in your brain is going to be that they are pinless so the pinless joints i don't know uh you know that that's going to be that could show us some issues but i would rather have double jointed pinless joints than single jointed pin joints if that makes any sense so i'll take that all day of the week but santos escobar looks really good can't wait to see how he poses around i bet this guy's going to be one of the best figures to pose around that they've ever released with the double jointed arms and the Callisto style legs this guy's going to be very fun to pose around i can just go ahead and tell you that so get ready for a great figure next up guys we have otis elite series 87 so i guess he actually did make the final cut this figure looks crazy good, man. I'm really excited for this one. I really like the shirt here. Now, the head sculpt is the exact same as his Elite 76 figure, I think that was, but I like it. It's updated. You get the shirtless Otis. I really like the shirt. I like the pail of meat that we got going on over here. I think that's really creative. You can use that in your catering area. I thought that his figure was really good last year. I think I ranked it in my top 10. I think he came in at like number 10, 9, or 8. I can't remember the exact spot, but this Otis looks really good. He comes with three pairs of interchangeable hands, and he does have all I, I i'm pretty sure he has double jointed arms as well so that is excellent you know you could put these arms on brock lesnar there's some different things that you could do with this guy you could put the arms on different guys we'll we'll have to experiment with that you know once we get the figures in hand we try to do surgery with them how swappable are they going to be he has the mode the molded knee pads and everything but this otis looks really good i think it's actually i think it's better than his first figure and his first figure was really good so we'll just have to see about that i don't think we got an image of the figure with the shirt off but i'm guessing it will be just like his last figure where it'll be like you know kind of like like an ultimate edition style torso and then uh it'll just be shirtless there so there's otis looking pretty good next up guys is a figure that i'm super excited about i think this figure looks insanity it is the elite 87 braun Strowman. now of course he's not with the company anymore but what a damn figure to have as your last figure bro this is a crazy looking figure i love the black wrist tape the pants look cool only thing i don't really like you could say is that uh he he has kind of like some bigger shield legs now these look just like you know roman reigns legs except baggy or pants like so I'm, I'm afraid he's gonna be really hard to stand up hopefully that's not the case but figure looks crazy tattoos look good the bald head sculpt looks just like Strowman. like the likeness is there you get this camo entrance vest you get the black hand tape and everything double jointed arms on this braun Strowman man i mean this is just cool stuff bro i mean it, this this is such a good figure as far as like the look of it aesthetically and like the double jointed arms and stuff hopefully the double jointed arms aren't like a loose deal hopefully you know they they stay in good contact and everything like that but this braun Strowman really shocked me i think it looks really good and i think it's a great last figure to have if you're 
you're, you know, if you're not going to have any more figures with Mattel, what a way to send it off there. But the, the cloth entrance vest and the double jointed arms, man, it's just a crazy day. It's a crazy day to see now that we're going to be getting double jointed arms on all of our elites moving forward. It's just a, it's just an exciting time right now. I'm about to lose my John Brown mind. Next up, guys, we have Apollo Crews. Now, we have two different versions of Apollo Crews. You have the white version, which is the chase variant, and then you have the blue version. Both of these look really, really good. I like the smiling head sculpt. This head sculpt's much better than that basic one we ripped on the other day. The, the double jointed arms look great on here as well. You get the U.S. Championship. Dude, what a just great, like his first figure. I'm holding his first figure in my hands, the Elite 49 Apollo Crews. This figure is a great figure in itself, and now that we're going to have this figure, but with double jointed arms, I know that this new Apollo Crews is going to be super good, and the head sculpt back then was good. This one is cool as well. I like both gears. The blue gear looks good. The white gear looks good. The in the mock image of it looks great as well with the John Brown Championship being held up, so I don't have any issues, man. Th these Apollo figures are absolutely sick. Moving forward in Elite 87, guys, we also have Candice LeRae, who also looks really good. Now, one thing you'll notice about the last two figures in the set is they do not have double jointed arms. At least, I don't think they do from what I'm seeing, so I think Candice LeRae has single jointed arms, and I think Asuka also has single jointed arms. However, their figures look really good. I still think the figures look really good. The Asuka's face scan looks really good. I like the attire. I think you could say this is the best Asuka so far. You could head swap it with her last Elite if you wanted to, you know, play around with it. I'm kind of sick of the network spotlight, so getting this new Elite 87 should be fine with me. You get a new mask in there. I like the black, red, and gold. It really pops off. No, like, entrance robe. I'm really shocked that... Otis and her didn't come with the Money in the Bank briefcases. That actually shocked the hell out of me. But Candice LeRae's colors really pop off nice with her hair and her entrance gear and the, the little calf rotation. Probably boot rotation as well with the purple and the light greens and stuff. These two women's figures are really excellent and I'm happy to have these two in the set. I think that they actually are uh, two really good figures. So Asuka and Candice LeRae look really awesome. And then rounding out Elite 87, guys, we do have the Collector's Edition Warlord, which also looks pretty good. And he has double jointed arms as well so I'm just loving the double jointed arms man I mean I can't even imagine like can you imagine when we finally get a Finn Balor a Seth Rollins a Roman Reigns like when we get these those these guys that we absolutely adore and love and the big time superstars with double jointed arms man gonna be a great day can't can't even fathom it at this juncture but uh, Warlord's looking good there. We I don't think we got an end package. Yeah, we did. I just didn't save it like a dumb idiot. But if we move on from Elite 87, guys, we also have a look at the new Legends Wave. I think it's Legends Wave 12, if I'm not mistaken. Now, one thing you're going to notice about this wave, I think I have a full image of the full wave all together, and then we'll go individually all the way through them here. Starting out first, guys, we have Rowdy Roddy Piper. Now, this is that wave that we got leaked out the other day, you know, with the, the Rowdy Roddy Piper, the Billy Gunn, the Kevin Nash, and the Junkyard Dog. Remember, we got like the mock image of Billy Gunn, and we talked talked about this Legends 12 wave. This is that wave. So this this hot rod right here, man, this Rowdy Piper, I love the cloth accessories. I love the gear and everything, but this head sculpt looks nothing like Rowdy Roddy Piper. I don't know what happened right here. It just doesn't look like Rowdy Roddy Piper, man. This is not Roddy Piper. I don't know who this is. It also has single jointed arms, and it's the ugly single jointed arms. So it's the ones with like the elbow like rotation instead of the bend there. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know when they'll get you know double jointed arms implemented into the Legends line as well. But uh, I don't think any of the figures in this wave have the double jointed arm. Uh, not like a huge deal, but I'd rather them have the the regular articulation, not the elbow rotation here. But this looks nothing like Roddy Piper. I mean, I had to get that out there. You guys can let me know. I love the gear. I love the accessories. I love Roddy Piper. This doesn't look look like Roddy Piper. I think a head swap is coming for this guy. I think a really cool fix-up would be putting this head with the uh, the WrestleMania boxing set with Mr. T. Head swapping that onto here would make this figure look really, really good, so maybe we can do that on surgery, but there is Legends 12 Roddy Piper. We also have Kevin Nash in the Outsiders gear, and this looks great, man. This Kevin Nash head sculpt is so damn good. The Outsiders t-shirt looks sick. The NWO gear looks sick. He comes with the two sweet hands. I really like this figure, and I'm not the biggest Kevin Nash guy in the universe, but I like this figure, and usually his figures just kind of like put me off for some reason like I usually don't really like them but this one's sick I like the headband I like the head sculpt it just gives me good nostalgia feels right here man this outsiders figure is really nice Kevin Nash looks good it'll go good with our Scott Hall that we got that's coming in a Legend Series 11, I do believe. So there is our Kevin Nash figure from this set. Next up in the set, guys, is the fig. Now, this is one of the stars of the set, man. This figure right here, the DX Army Billy Gun. Remember, we had this figure leaked out to us. I got told multiple times that this was a fake. Like, I, I had people messaging me saying, that's a fake. There's no way this is real. Uh, why would they reuse the Chompa pants? 
Uh, you know, they just took some roses from the Eddie Guerrero and stuck them on the helmet. Like, what is this? And no, Brad, this is absolutely official. Like, you guys can see that the, the trees are even, like, duct taped to the helmet there. And these pants are actually not reused from the Ciampa. They actually gave us new pants. Like, these are long pants that go all the way down and cuff around the boots at the bottom. This is not like the Ciampa pants that we've seen before. It comes with the DX shirt. And the gear underneath the stuff is so sick, man. They gave him the Dolph Ziggler style boots. Billy Gunn used to wear those same style boots. In the white gear, I've never owned a Billy Gunn, I don't think. So this is probably going to be the first one that I've owned. And I love it, man. This is one of my favorite gears that he ever rocked. I also love the pink and the green, but the white is so damn good. So this Billy Gunn figure is really good. I like the head sculpt on it. I like the white. Dude, this is going to be sick. Like, now I'm super excited to see what the rest of the DX army looks like and, like, all the different ideas you could use for the camo pants and stuff, man. Also, you have the DX sprayed over the Legends and over the Elite Collection logo and all of that. So that's also a really nice touch for mock collectors and stuff. So Billy Gunn looks great, man. No doubts about it. That looks sick. And rounding out our Legends set, guys, is going to be Junkyard Dog, who is actually the Chase variant in the set. So you have a red version of Junkyard Dog, and you have a blue version of Junkyard Dog. And one thing that I was really hoping for in this set was that it was going to come with a chain, and it does. So that is really exciting for me. I've never owned the Junkyard Dog in the white gear, so I am definitely going to be grabbing this one. And again, none of them have, you know, double jointed arms or anything like that. This must have been, you know, in the works before the double jointed arms were confirmed for the rest of the wave but the blue looks good the red looks good and the junkyard dog head sculpt looks good you get the crown i mean this is a really nice junkyard dog figure and he comes with the chain so i have zero issues with that whatsoever but the, what what great figures here man but we are not done we also have a couple basic waves right quick and i do want to go ahead and dive into the basic waves real quick so this next basic wave i don't even know what number basic wave this is but this is going to be the basic wave that includes drew mcintyre it includes Chelsea Green, Damian Priest, and Charlotte Flair. Now, overall, the set, Drew McIntyre, I mean, it's the same smiley face head sculpt. It's pretty much a basic version of our Elite 83 Drew McIntyre. We also have uh, Chelsea Green in the set, and I think her head sculpt does look like her. I don't think she's even in the company anymore, but Chelsea Green's figure looks good. You got the head sculpt on there. I think this would be a good figure to convert into an Elite. So you have the Chase variant version in the black, I think, and then the purple is the regular version. So this shouldn't be too hard to convert into an Elite. I feel like if you use like a Mandy Rose or maybe a Liv Morgan and, you know, you played with some parts, I bet you could, you know, convert this into an Elite and it would look really good. Probably something we could do on surgery once we have the opportunity, man. So we will definitely look into doing that. But Chelsea Green's figure does look good. I like the head sculpt and all of that. We also have Damian Priest. So Damian Priest, this is his first time in the line. I think he is a part of Elite 89, so we'll have to wait and see what we get out of Elite Series 89 Damian Priest. But this head sculpt looks okay. I hope that they do something new for his Elite figure. I hope they don't use this exact same head sculpt for his Elite figure that we get in a couple waves. Because this figure is kind of plain Jane, right? I mean, he's got black pants, a rib wrap, and then, you know, there he is with his tattoos and stuff. So we'll have to wait on the Elite. You know, the head sculpt's not the greatest head sculpt ever, but it's not the worst head sculpt, uh, you know, ever either. But uh, there is Damian Priest. And then lastly, we do have Charlotte Flair. It's a Charlotte Flair. Head sculpt looks good, but the rest of the figure is kind of just a, a statue there. So I don't really care for the for the Charlotte Flair basic there. But also, guys, we also have another basic wave. And this basic wave is interesting, man. Starting out first, we do have Bobby Lashley. Uh, standard Bobby Lashley. You know, it doesn't. we still don't have a new head sculpt. I think he's a part of Elite 88. So hopefully for Elite 88, Bobby Lashley, we actually get a head sculpt that is, uh, that is new. I want to get a pissed off or yelling. Uh, angry Bobby Lashley. That's what I want for my Elite figure, so hopefully that will be the case. We also have Otis, kind of just a basic version of his Elite 87 figure. We will be getting, uh, you know, just the half t-shirt there, and then the same expression that we've gotten for his Elite 76 figure. I know his head's, like, shaved now, so, I mean, these head sculpts aren't even really accurate for him, but what are you gonna do? We also have Braun Strowman, and a lot of people were crapping on this figure online. It's definitely not the most appealing basic ever, like the green over the torso there and the massive pants. It just kind of looks a bit awkward there so yeah i could definitely agree here but the head sculpt still looks really good if you wanted to update your braun Strowman elite without getting the brand new elite which would kind of be dumb because that new elite looks sick uh this braun Strowman figure definitely doesn't look the best aesthetically but the head sculpt's really good so i mean what do you what do you want to say there i mean that's basically what i get basics for nowadays anyways we also have jake atlas and this head sculpt looks good you know this figure does look like him and it looks good it's a really nice figure i think this would be a really easy you know basic to elite convert conversion so there's that so you could you know pop the 
legs off, get the knee pads, get the head sculpt on there. I think this would be a really nice figure to convert into an elite. And the head sculpt's good, so that's always great. Any figure that has a good head sculpt, man, that's a basic, you can always, you know, get that elite conversion in there, and it's always a nice day. So he's also the chase variant, so he has the white gear as well, which is also beautiful. So if I'm going to grab, I I'm sure my, my area is pretty good about getting new basics in, so I'll probably be able to have an opportunity to get all these in. And the last figure that we got to look at, guys, is going, well, not the very last, but the last figure that's like, you know, regular figure, is going to be Dexter Loomis, and this head sculpt looks really good, I think they did an excellent job on this, I think it looks just like Dexter Loomis, uh, kind of like Stone Cold Steve Austin with a mustache on there, is kind of what I compare it to, but I think his elite figure will be really good once we get an elite, I'm not a Dexter Loomis guy, but this head sculpt does look good, and hopefully, you know, it'll be an easy way to convert into an elite, I imagine you could just take an Elias, torso swap it, uh, you know, uh, you will have to get some tattoo decals in there unless you just draw them on there. Doesn't seem to be that difficult, but the head sculpt looks really good for Dexter Loomis, so I'm, uh, I'm okay with that. So the Dexter Loomis figure looks really, really nice, and I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that. A lot of people were waiting to see exactly how he was going to come out and all of that. And then the last figures that we have, guys, is going to be the Masters of the Universe Series 7, I think. And in this wave, we're going to be getting Junkyard Dog, which kind of looks like his Legends figure. We have Andre the Giant, which looks really sick. Like, I don't collect these. I think I collect at like series one maybe but outside of that i really don't have any more of these but the junkyard dog looks sick andre the giant looks really dope we also have sergeant slaughter who looks very sick and then the last one in the set which i think is my personal favorite is going to be brett the hitman heart really love the gear here with the hitman heart logo on his chesticle you got the sunglasses kind of like cyclops looking you got the pink gear you got the sick ass you know pink uh, not pink, but you got the sick-ass Bret Hart boots on there, so I love it. I think this is a really good wave here, and I need to start collecting these more. It's just like, it's hard to keep up with, you know, like an AEW, you know, collecting AEW figures and then collecting a lot of elites and then keeping those mock, and then I don't really even have room to collect the Masters of the Universe, even though I would love to. You know, my walls ha don't have a lot of space. My closets are running out of space. Like, I don't have a ton of space, so it's really hard. I got to pick and choose sometimes and all of that, so... Uh, I think I'd rather go after elites and, and, you know, things like that that I could use rather than collecting mock stuff like this, but they are really sick, so one day maybe I can track it down, but it's just not a priority for me at this moment, but... That pretty much wraps up all of our reveals from today, man. Really big day of reveals. I thought it was a great day. You guys can let me know what you thought of everything down in the comment section below. I know it was kind of a longer video, but I hope you guys did enjoy it anyways. And you guys can let me know what you think of everything. I mean, I am just so... I'm so excited for just all the, 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 the double jointed arms and the accessories that we're starting to get, man. It is a crazy time to be a collector. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. This shout-out is going to go to Mikey Otto or Mikey Otto. Mickey Otto, maybe? Santos Escobar gets it for me. It comes with a mask, so I can do mask versus mask match with Andrade. And that's actually a really good point, man. If you used the Elite 74 Andrade or even his NXT Elite and then did a matchup with Santos Escobar with the new figure that's coming out, bro, that would be an absolute banger classic just because of how poseable his figures are and how poseable the Santos is going to be. So I would actually like to see that. So if you do that matchup, man, send me the link. I'll definitely check that out. But a huge shout out to you, man. Huge shout out to the Mass versus Mass match. That's actually, that's some special, yeah. But anyways, guys, huge shout out to him. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you, let me know what your favorite reveal was from today down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like uh, that Roddy Piper head sculpt. You crossed the line. I've been beaten, boom.